In this lecture, I want to do another um, normal probability distribution application problem. And for this one, I want to do something a little bit more interesting. I want to talk about Chips Ahoy chocolate chip cookies. So many of you might not know this, but um, during my childhood, Chips Ahoy chocolate chip cookies ran this ad campaign where they said there's at least a thousand chips in every bag. Okay, so there were a thousand chocolate chips in every 18 ounce bag of Chips Ahoy's chocolate chip cookies. That's what their claim was. So there was this study done by the U U.S. Air Force Academy. Okay, and what they did was they actually opened up bags of chocolate chips, Chips Ahoy cookies, and counted the number of chips in them. Okay, so here's the problem. The number of chocolate chips in an 18 ounce bag of Chips Ahoy chocolate chip cookies is approximately, they're telling you that the number of chips in the bag is normally distributed. That's great. They tell you that the mean on average, there were uh, 1,262 chips in each bag, and the standard deviation for the number of chips in each bag was 118, okay? So, you know, it makes sense that there's not the same amount of chips in every bag, right? If there's a manufacturing process that goes into, you know, to, you know, baking these chips, so it's not always going to be uniform or equal. So, all right, this is what they found. So suppose that you just go into the grocery store, Okay, and you grab a random bag of 18 ounce Chips Ahoy chocolate chip cookies. Uh, and what you do is you record the number of chocolate chips in this bag. Okay, so I'm gonna define a variable. I'm gonna let X be equal to the number of chips in a random bag of Chips Ahoy. Okay, since we're, t we're telling you that it's normally distributed here, we're just going to assume this is a continuous random variable. Part of that it could also be like, you know, if there's a thousand chips in the bag, you know, the next one, is there half a chip next? You know, is the next chip a thousand and one? So we're just going to have it not be discrete, but a continuous random variable here. Okay, so I've got this random variable, and I'm going to ask you some probability questions, okay? First, let's do this one. Uh, what is the probability the number of chocolate chips in the bag is greater than 1,300? Well, I've already defined the variable, so I want to find the probability that the number of chips is greater than 1,300. Well, we're going to draw the normal curve. Okay, so let's just go back here. What do we know about x here? We know that the number of chips in the bag are no is normally distributed. We know that on average there was 1262 in each bag, and the standard deviation is 118. So going back, here this should be centered at 1262, and I want to be greater than 1300. So guess what, now I just do a z-score. So a z-score is the x variable minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. So there's only one x variable of interest here. So this is 1300 minus 1262, and the standard deviation was 118. So we're going to grab our trusty calculator for this. Okay, so you're going to need to put the top in parentheses. So it's 1300 minus 1262 divided by 118, and you're going to get this number. But you're going to have to round this to two decimal places, okay? The reason you're going to do that is because our z-score table only goes to two decimal places. So I'll just round it down to 0 0.32. So now this becomes what's the probability of z-score is greater than 0 0.32? Well, it's an area to the right. It's a tail area to the right. So this is 1 minus. So we're going to grab our standard normal table here. So I'm going to go to the positive side. 0 0.3, I'm going to go over to the 2, is 0.6255. So this is 1 minus 0 0.6255, which ends up being 0 0.3745. All right, so now let's do the more interesting problem. Okay, so they said that there's a thousand chips in every bag. Okay, so well, let's actually find the probability then that you would grab a random bag and there would be less than a thousand chips in it. 
And if this is greater than zero, okay, their, their advertising campaign is obviously not true. So I'm gonna draw the curve. You know, on average they get 1,600 or 1,262, and I wanna find the probability that, you know what, that they're wrong. My bag doesn't have a thousand chips in it. So this is z-score, x minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. So this is 1,000 minus 1,262 divided by 118. No, put the wrong thing there, sorry. So 1,000 minus 1,262 divided by 118. Let's see what we get. You get minus 2.222. So this becomes what's the probability that a z-score is less than minus 2.222. So this is a Taylor rate to the left, so you can just read this right off the table. So minus 2.222. It's a small probability. It's 0 0.0132. Okay, but since there's a chance it could happen, okay, their, their claim is not correct. Another way to say this is roughly 1.32% of bags have less than a thousand chips. And that's why that this ad campaign is no longer used. They, they actually caught it. All right, class, so now in the last two lectures, I've done the iPhone example, and now I've done a Chips Ahoy example. Uh, what I'm going to do in the next lecture is actually show you how to use your graphing calculator to answer some of these as well.